Hello everybody, welcome back. So let's have a look at XRP. So um, I suppose, you know, since XRP is back in fashion again, um, we, we should start talking about it more regularly. It's, it's nice to see that the volatility has come back into the token and um, and it's, it's pretty much going crazy, isn't it? It's, it's overreached at this point, in my opinion. It's overreached. And we'll have a look at a couple of reasons why I think it's overreached and what, what the... What what the future holds for it in the short term and and obviously the long term you've you've all heard my my thoughts on the long term <coughs> excuse me so um, just before I start join my Patreon we have two live streams a week um, seven pounds fifty a month you get two hours a time sixteen hours a month like I say for seven pounds fifty a month it's pretty pretty good value for money I, I have to say we look at all different types of altcoins on your request throughout that time and also if you haven't got any of these accounts below so QCoin GateIO Binance. I've got links below with ha which has got with those referral fees. You can have multiple accounts if you've already got those. These ones will offer you 20% off if you decide that you want to set up a new account. You might as well set, set up accounts with 20% off your trading fees. You just might as well do that. So let's have a brief look then before we go any further. It's uh, it's it's overreached here all the way up to one dollar fifty. Let's have a look at the money flow index and uh, see how high that reached. So not particularly high. It could go higher than that actually. So there is a chance that throughout this week it does move up. We often see rejections across the border around about 96 um, on the money flow index. And that's that's normally an absolute top area. But if we have a look at this, in it, historically we have been topped out at lower areas. So it is quite high. Um, but there's no reason why it can't pop again. I mean, we, we, we have spent you know one day outside of the Bollinger Band with a bit of a shooting star. Um, formation usually signifying it wants to come back down. So if we if we are going to come back down on this time frame um, and it still remain bullish, I'd expect to uh, to find a bounce around about this seven simple moving average today that comes in at about one dollar sixteen. So we could we could find ourselves retracing all down to that level. Um, but personally, uh, you know, when XRP decides it wants to moon. Yeah, or, or just or just rally. I mean, it might not respect that. It might go for another big push before it comes back down to revisit some of these moving averages. At the moment, if we think about what it's done, it's broken out of this uh, this this top level of resistance, and since then, it moved up 164 percent. That's quite fitting with the way that it's behaved in the past. So we came out of this accumulation zone when we broke out the accumulation zone for the very first time on this mini rally, which wasn't that small at the time. It's fifty-four percent move, and then when we broke out of that reaccumulation phase above this level of support here, uh, that moved two hundred thirty-one percent. So this, this is one of the reasons I like this token. It, it, it gathers a lot of emotional reactions from people that hate it, uh, despise it, think it's never going to move, and then out of the blue, well, it's not particularly out of the blue. There's always signal involved with this on a long term. It moves 200, 150, 160, 230% <laughs> in a few days. Um, wiping the smug grin off most people's faces who hated it in the first place. Anyway, I'm not here to tell you that it's going to go much higher than this in the short term. I, I would be quite surprised if it did, but if it did, uh, these are the zones that we have to think about. This is the giant Fibonacci retracement all the way from the parabolic high 2017 into 18, uh, all the way down to the low <coughs> of the March crash at 10 cent. Um, since here, we, we basically had this area here, this whole red area, which is a giant accumulation zone, um, a massive accumulation zone, which I was t saying that, you know, about a year ago, I was saying this this is actually what this is. It might not feel like it for people who are scaling in, buying in at these levels, but it was a giant accumulation zone. Obviously, for those who watch my channel, we we actually accumulated it here. So this is the accumulation of the accumulation, but uh, this all this area is a giant accumulation zone. So now we've broken out of that, we went straight to this upper level of the fibs, and uh, and now if we can if we can remain supported on above this um, area here of one dollar thirty four, there is a chance that there are, honestly I'm not joking there is honestly a chance that we could go all the way up at least at least to um, the, um, uh, the 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 two candle bodies over here around about two dollars seventy four. I'm not saying that that's likely, uh, but I, I, it's also not unlikely with the way that it has moved in the past. Now, one thing I would say is, um, you know, judging XRP on previous price action, um, it's uh, a, pre a previous um, chart analysis. Um, it it does have these fake outs, and I would expect it to perhaps probably even come all the way down to wherever the 200 exponential is on the daily. Um, for the moment, we are golden crossed over here um, on the weekly, which is great. But I just want to bring your attention over to this area here. So we're just going to have a look over here. So this was when it came onto the scene, had a parabolic high, had a three-year downtrend, had a fake out, and then a parabolic high. So the parabolic high, then a three-year downtrend, possibly a fake out, and then a parabolic high. 
Um, it would be unlikely for this to finish its cycle um, so early. Um, so if it is behaving the same as it did before, we had a giant parabolic move. This was huge. That was the parabolic move that uh, you know that 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 started this three-year downtrend. This was a fake out, which was enormous. Then we spent a vast amount of time retracing to the tune of about 65% um, down to the 200 exponential, I believe, on the daily. So we'll just have a quick look at that, just to be be certain. Uh, yeah. Um, XRP has a very strong relationship with its 200 exponential despite it going to the moon and people thinking it will never come back down again it pretty much always does uh, come back down to the 200 exponential so and um, that's how it's done on this rally 200 exponential this rally 200 exponential this rally <coughs> 200 exponential so I, I you know for those who want to buy in on this one I certainly wouldn't be thinking about buying up here I'd be waiting for it to inevitably come back down to touch the 200 exponential and for those who think that I'm being bearish on this I'm not uh, I've, I've, I've predicted more or less these moves from from uh, from over a year ago um, almost to the month which is you know it's not it's not that it's an easy or hard thing to do it's it's written on the chart to suggest that you know from I thought it was going to be around May that it would have the power to do this which done it a month early this is the kind of trajectory at the moment that the 200 exponential is going in and if we think about how long it takes for us to retrace um, then you know we are talking perhaps maybe a month or two um, before we come down to test so 30 days for that one um, so 30 days from here we would be thinking about an area of uh, you know maybe coming down to about 85 cents so that's interesting because that also if we go back to our last chart um, that shows us the top of the accumulation zone um, about 85 86 cent so there that 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 is a very realistic possibility that we will retrace all the way down to the top of the accumulation zone and the 200 exponential on the daily will catch up to that level so that would be my if anyone wanted to ever buy back into this that that might be your opportunity like I say I'm not a financial advisor but that that's that that's got rhythm and uh, to it that that's that kind of makes a lot of sense that it would do that uh, that's matching the previous um, retracements uh, in time frames and also matching a fib retracement with a 200 exponential on the daily so like i say you know for those who got uh, bought in on this this is a this is you know proving to be a decent investment and it's definitely got a lot further to go for the rest of the year but uh, if you really want to fomo uh, be prepared to get slapped in the face if you want to play the game appropriately then you wait for the right time to get in and like i say the, this chart more than most has a very strong rhythm uh, and uh, it does it it does it does respect um, its previous cycle very well, so there's, there's, there will be more opportunity uh, in this. But uh, for me personally, I wouldn't suggest buying in here. I would wait patiently, give it a month or two, and see where we are at that point. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and take it easy.